and your roast master, Dean Martin. And tonight's very special man of the week, Mr. Don Rickles. Tonight, we're roasting Don Rickles. Rickles is the man about whom Adolf Hitler once said, from him I could learn. <laughs> Don's idea of a fun evening is to show home movies of the attack on Pearl Harbor <laughs> with a laugh track. <laughs> yeah, Don's got a great sense of humor. He gets his kicks calling in phony reprieves to the death house. <laughs> Don Rickles has the distinction of being the only civilian that was ever impeached. <laughs> Don inherited his sense of humor. His mother and father were great practical jokers. That's how Don was born. <laughs> he was even a rotten kid. One Christmas, he hung his sock on the tree, and a tree died. <laughs> you're burning, but you're laughing, I know. <laughs> but that's all behind Don now. Today, he's, he's a much bigger, bigger success than I am. After all, he's had four TV series, and I've only had one. <laughs> <laughs> they say that behind every clown is a sad man. In Don's case, it's Robert Wood, the president of CBS. <laughs> Few people know this, but Don's worked hard in show business to attain one goal, to save up enough money to send his mother back behind the Iron Curtain. <laughs> Always a pleasure now, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to introduce Mr. Joy Bishop. Joy was a little late getting here. He was in Johnny Carson's garage loosening Johnny's brakes. <laughs> One of my favorite comedians, Mr. Joey Bishop.